Alright everybody, hello and welcome. As always, I am Sean, this is Uneducated Game, playing Football Manager 2015. We are continuing our Australian Dynasty series. We're up to Season 1, Episode 10, so happy anniversary. I bought you a cake, but you can't see it because sitting here with me. Today, in this match, we're going to go with Central Coast and Newcastle, a home match against... Oh, sorry, an away match against Central Coast. We actually beat them 3-0 on this ground last time we played them. It'll be the last time we play them this year. They were one, one, they've won one, we've won one, and then we have a home game against Newcastle United. We still have the best... The lowest losses in the league so far with only two, but it's the draws that have killed us. 12 draws from 19 games is absolutely insane, which you can't find the back of the net. Last game out, had a chance to really push for one of the top spots against Adelaide United, but that we couldn't find the back of the net. 11 shots, one on target. Nil all draw, and we got what we deserved, really. So we have dropped down to sixth position. However, a lot of those teams that are ahead of us played an extra game. So a win here could see us push up as high as fourth. Ahead of both Melbourne Victory and Western Sydney, though Western Sydney are also playing today. But it's crunch time for us. We need to start putting in some good results, and it's probably a good time to be playing Central Coast as they are the worst team in the division by a long way. 16 losses this year. I'm hoping we can go out and absolutely smash them. So I'm going to have to make a couple of changes to the team as we're putting in here. We're going to go pretty much on current form because there are players that aren't playing that well. So last five games, Ben Garuccio apparently is right up there, so he'll play on the left. Mork will play in the middle. Balafi, of course, in goal. We'll put Vitasic on the right. Taggart up front. Taggart actually won the Young Player of the Month award for the most recent game. Uh, sorry, for the most recent month, which was February. So good for him. Four goals, uh, four appearances, two goals. Pretty solid play from him all around. They've gone with Retre. That's interesting. Uh, they've gone with Zulo. Okay, fair enough. Only just ahead of Clisby. Oh, they're on identical things, so... Yeah, fuck it. We'll go with Zula. Retro in the middle. No, I'm going to go with Melling uh, because I think he deserves it. Oh, can I go with Melling or is he away with the national side or something? Where is he? All right, let's see who's unavailable. Melling suspended, Franich suspended. Okay, that makes sense. That's why I couldn't see him. I thought he'd been playing very well. Uh, so Retro will play at right back for Franich and we'll guess we'll have Chris Heard play with Mork in the middle there. We'll swap their sides. Morse a little bit better on his left. We'll go with Williams and Larry as our central defensive partnership. They haven't been too bad. They just don't get the respect they deserve in terms of scores. And Eric Pardley will continue to anchor the midfield. So what have we got there? We'll go with the bench. Stavania, Chapman, Edwards, Babal. And I might take Clisby off for a central midfielder. Yes, we'll put Aaron Moy there. Just so we have a bit of depth. Should we need it? But we need to start hitting the back of the net. That is our biggest issue. Tag it has been better. Five, two goals in five appearances. And we've had some tough games playing a lot of top sides during that time. Definitely better than Babar was offering. He's got three goals in like 19 appearances or something stupid like that. So, okay. Assertively, we haven't lost in ages, but we haven't won in fucking a while either. So, a team such as ours should be winning this match without any problem at all. They are bottom, rock bottom of the division. We should be comfortably beating these guys. Seven points for their 19 games so far this year. And we need to win. Vitasic now with the ball on the right-hand side. Come square to Mork. I think this is just a kick-off all up, but it's hard to tell. Played to Hurd. Pardalou's there. Can he find a forward? Hurd looks for Vitasic now. Comes to tag it. He's lost the ball and then won it back. To Vitasic, it's a good tackle from Neil, and Austin eventually gets that one away. So it was a long highlight for basically what was a kick-off highlight, and we didn't work a shot out of it, so that's not great. We've got 60% of the ball despite playing away, which is very interesting. Vitasic take the corner now. Lowry's in the area. It's gone to tag it. It's found Lowry again. Instead of turning and shooting when he's wide open, he for some reason puts it out to Vitasic. All he had to do was turn and poke it into the fucking net. Jesus Christ. Three shots, none on target. What is going on with this team? I don't understand what this riddle is that Football Manager is presenting with me because we have the players to find the back of the net at this level because all of them have done it before. Ah, oh, fuck me. Drab match so far. Yeah, I agree. Assertively, not happy. This is a team that we should be convincingly beating. Adam Taggart needs to do more. Assertively. Uh, I'm looking for you to make a difference. No, he doesn't give a fuck. All right, well, he's got 15 minutes to do something to improve his score. Otherwise, Babal will be coming on. And I fucking detest Eli Babal. So we need more. We need more from our big players. Our defense has been absolutely fine. Having said that, they've got a free kick now. It's headed away well. Taggart's coming out on the counter. He's got a man over on the left-hand side. If he gets his head up, He's arriving back stick now. Find him. Find him. Finish Dario. Thank fuck for that. Jesus Christ. 
Well done, Taggart. Well done, Taggart. He's at least responded because he's carried it from pretty much the length of the entire pitch and good run from Vitasic staying on side and then getting the finish on his wrong foot. It's not the greatest ball across ever, but he had time. Oh, so we go 1-0 up in the 50th minute. This is a team that we should be absolutely pummeling. It shouldn't take us till the 50th minute to get there. Rose goes all the way back to ready in goal. He's conceded a shit ton this year. Uh, back to Poscalero. Oh, it looks like Bingham's gotten in behind. And now Fitzgerald. Oh, thankfully, he's put that one wide, but that's a concern. Good story about Liam Reddy in Central Coast goal. There's a long-standing record in Australia for the most beers consumed in a cross-country fl oh, no, a a flight to London. Liam Reddy decided he was going to try and beat it on the flight between Wellington and Sydney when he was playing at Sydney FC. Uh, so he got absolutely hammered, and they sacked him. I'm going to bring on Eli Babar for Adam Taggart. Uh, let's go and we'll do the team talk thing as well, assertively. Have faith in you, make the difference. Doesn't care. Retro with throwing now on the right-hand side. Finds the target, who this might be his last contribution. He finds Retro well on the right-hand side. It's a deep ball in. Rosh Hep gets it away. It's coming out to Hurd, who's still yet to score for us, I think. Target with the strike, and that one has gone out. So he'll now come off, and Babar will come on. He's a, bit of, he's a better area of target to have in the box for this corner anyway. It may have been Taggart that won it, but... He'll be watching the rest of the game from the sideline. Vitasic to whip it in. It's not a good one. It's hit the deck to Pardaloo and he strikes, which is very rare for him to take a shot. So six shots, one on target, one goal. Pathetic. Vitasic with another corner. And now it's hit the deck. Herd's closed down very quickly. I'm hoping this isn't a counter-attack for Central Coast. A Triffero with the long ball over. But Bingham can only flick it on to nobody. Retro with the ball now. Is that the end of the highlight? Or we're about to go up the other end and score. Larry finds Hurd in the middle. It's a good, incisive pass. Mork with the ball now. Thankfully, Pardalou's there to tidy up. Mork gave away very cheaply. Garicho can turn. He's got a man square in Hurd. Plays it forward to Babal now. Babal finds Vitasic, and that's his second goal. So, well done, Dario Vitasic. Should take him to 10, go yeah, 10 goals for the season. So far and away, our leading scorer. I don't think he's involved in the conversation for leading scorer in the league, but for a winger to be contributing the way he is, he is on side, and it's a good ball from Babar. Lovely reverse pass, and Vitasic again on his wrong foot. Gets it past Liam Reddy, so we go 2-0 up. Love to take credit for it, but I'm sure Taggart could have played that ball as well. It's one back by McFarlane. He's looked for a long ball forward. Williams with crossfield switch. Babar is goal side and cannot get the fucking finish there. He had so much time. He could have taken six touches and passed it in the back of the net. Vitasic with the ball in. Lowry's in the area. We just continually look for Lowry at front stick, and I'm not sure if it's the right ball that we should be playing. I don't think it's worked for us once this year. So nine shots, three in target. We're getting a little bit better in terms of getting him on target, but Rose to take a free kick now, and of course he's put that one into the top right-hand corner. We would have had about... Oh, his first goal of the season. Why is it that every goal we concede, it's that player's first goal of the season? It happened twice against Wellington. It's happened again here against Central Coast. And of course their left back just bobs up and smashes a fucking free kick into the top corner. What's his free kick rating? I'm actually going to go and check it. No, nah, fuck it. Pause the game. Pause the game. We're stopping. We're going to have a look. Josh Rose, free kicks. What are they rated? Joshua Rose, free kick taking 11. So, who takes our free kicks? It's usually Shane Lowry. What's his free kick rating? 13. So, two whole points better, and he's not gotten one on target. Not a single fucking one. Some days I hate this game. Some days I love it, and it's the greatest thing in the world, and then other days I fucking despise it, and I want it to die. So Moy's going to come on for Hurd, who seems to have picked up an injury. That is a bit of a worry. There's only 10 minutes to go, so might bring on Edwards for Garuccio, and we might swap Dario Vitasic over to the left wing. We'll see if he can get a hold of an Edwards cross and complete his hat-trick. Make the difference. Listen, cunts, make the difference. Okay, Ryan Edwards has listened. So that's cool. Let's go to pitch. 9-3, 60%, 4-1, 40%. And yet, I still feel like they're going to come back into it at some point. Part of losing injured. Fuck me. Why does it do this? I feel like the game is just set up to make you fail sometimes. Um, who's going to play at the holding midfielder? I don't know. Can Aaron Moy do it? Yeah, he can. Okay, so he'll sit in front of the back line, and we'll just go with one central midfielder there. Or will we? Can Babar play as a winger? Not really. Can Edwards? Not really either. Edwards playing midfield? No. Can Babal play in midfield? No. Vitasic can. You know what? Fuck it. We'll just go one out in midfield. 
All right, just got to hold on now for three minutes. Oh, shit. Rose with the throw in here. It's headed away one more. Edwards flicks it on, but Rose has kept it in. Caceres finds Trefiro. It's a strike, but not a good one. Zulo's going to tidy up. We need to come forward. He's going on a lovely run here. He's running away from his help, though. Or his help's running away from him. Yep, and he's tried to cross it from really an area where there was nothing on. Played forward by Mork. Vitasic to Babal. He's looked for Edwards. It's passed back to Reddy. He hacks it away. Bingham's picked up the ball in the right-hand corner. Oh, well done, Michael Zullo. Gets back well, but still played forward to Fitzgerald. Larry makes a challenge, but doesn't get there. It's Caceres with a crossfield switch to Austin, and thank God he's offside. Oh, Jesus. One minute. One minute. Can we find another goal, or at least just hold on? Just hold it in the corner. I don't give a shit. I'll be boring. I'll be that guy. We need a win. Rose with the ball forward. Williams tidies up well, and Trefiro with the tackle puts it out for a throw-in. Retro to take. Comes to Mork now, and Edwards. Oh, he's lost out. Bingham with the ball now. Moy with a good challenge. It's going to come to Vitasic, who's sitting on a hat-trick, but I don't think there's time for him to find another one, unless they find him here. Looks for Edwards, but it's a poor ball from here, love about. Oh, thank Christ. All right, so we're broken our duck. We've finally gotten that win that we need. Assertive. Just going to say good win. No need to complicate it more than that. 8.8 .8 from Dario Vitasic. His two goals get us across the line there. Six shots, two on target, 40%, nine, three, and 60. We should be doing a bit better, though. But it sees a move up to 30 points. We move back into fourth position. All teams now play 20, which is handy. The last seven games of the season will all be playing pretty much on the same weekend. There shouldn't be anyone with games in hand. Still got the best goal difference. Uh, sorry, still got the best defensive record in the league with 12, but we haven't had a clean sheet in a while. Not since we signed Ryan Williams, so I don't know if that's a coincidence or not. Actually, that's a lie because we drew with Adelaide United nil all. So we remain four points off the top two, Brisbane and Adelaide, though we are behind both in terms of goal difference. Newcastle are ahead of us by one point, but their goal they've also scored a lot more goals for. We're going to play them in the next game, so it should be important. Post-match here, uh, experienced centre-back Josh Rose. Josh Rose is a left-back every day of the week, so I don't know why the fuck they've said that. Uh, let's just say we try to be the best we can be. Confidence is high. Don't think so. They're dedicated. Caceres? Um, fuck Caceres. Dario was great. And Vitasic, 8.8, .8, gets himself the player of the match. Leading club scoring targets with 10 goals and 18 appearances. That's very good for a winger. If only our strikers could finish that well. Though Taggart and Babal both got assists in that game, so I shouldn't complain too much at all. Yeah, through the magic of editing, let's skip ahead to the Newcastle game, which is next Sunday the 15th. And ta-da, just like that, we skip ahead. Isn't ed editing great? So we have not lost in our last 12 games, and that is a new record for Melbourne City Football Club. Uh, we're going to play Newcastle today. They have been a bit of our bogey team. We've drawn with them so far the three times that we've played them. So one was the FFA Cup final. The last one here, you can see one all draw. Ryan Edwards got the goal to get us the point there. Then we beat him in extra time. Oh, sorry, we beat him on penalties after the FFA Cup final. Dario Vitasic got our strike in that game. Brandon Lundy got a late equaliser for them. And a nil all draw in the first week of the season. So... Yeah, they're not a team that we've managed to beat yet, so this could be a tough one. We are playing them at home. They've got a few out. Kandorovsky is out, suspended. Bressi and Vigili are out with injuries. Though they've still performed, they are currently sitting above us by one point. And we do have a chance to leapfrog our rivals as well in Melbourne victory. And move to 33 points in outright third position. And it's an important game for us because we also need to keep up with Adelaide United. It looks like Brisbane Roar have dropped points in their game yesterday. This is the last picture of the round being Sunday afternoon kickoff. So it could be a very big game. I'm not 100% sure how we're going to go. Let's go quick pick and see what they say. So they've suggested Melling Hurd, Grucho, Vitasic, Taggart, Pardalu, Zulo, Larry Williams, Franic, and Velafi. I'm actually really fine with that. That's pretty good. They have gone with Babal, Edwards, Retre, Chapman, Stavania on the bench. All right, I'm putting this one in the assistant's hands. We're going to go with exactly that. And hopefully that's enough to get us over the line. Okay, Melbourne Victory can move up to third. They can move up to second, so it's a big game for them as well. Western Sydney have just capitulated since we played them. They were sitting top of the division when we played them, and now they're sitting in sixth position. Okay, calm at home. I expect nothing but a win from this match. Okay, Zulo's responded well from that. I'm going to start raising my expectations of the team. Especially now we're in the last seven games of the year in the last few episodes of the series. We should qualify comfortably for the final series. I'm not worried about that, but really we should be sitting up towards the top spot just by way of the amount of games we're fucking drawn. 
to go through a season and lose twice in 27 games, oh no, sorry, to lose twice in 20 games, you should be, you'd expect to be at the top, not having 12 fucking draws. Francis with the throw in here, finds Vitisic. Played forward to Taggart, who's gotten goal side. He's playing against his old team today. I wonder if that can be a bit of an incentive for him to go out and smash a couple in. He's got his strike on target, and Mark Berrigitte has held that one well. He's a good young keeper. So, first half, three shots, two on target, zero and zero for them. But really, that's happened quite a bit to us. We've controlled a lot of games and not been able to put it away. Uh, far from pleased, assertively. Let's go with that. The ball responded well. is not having a great game, so we might look to bring Edwards on shortly. Hoffman, X. Melbourne Heart, Melbourne City player there. Absolutely rubbish. I don't know how he continues to get professional contracts in the A-League. Vitasic is going to whip the ball in now. Partly goes up, knocks it down towards Hurd. It's played forward to Lowry and hacked off the line by Taylor Egan. Caravella with the ball now, who I don't think has ever scored in the A-League. Edson Montano, good tackle from Zulo. There's a man on the right, though, and thankfully nothing going on there. Neville with the throw in here. Montano with the ball in the corner. Plays it back to Alavidovic. Alividic? I don't know how you fucking pronounce it. Alividic, let's go with that. Let's add the extra syllables to his name. Herd's won the ball back very high at the pitch. Carry it, carry it, carry it. Taggart has men around him. Just needs to find one. Find one. Find one. Fuck me. That's why we dropped Eli Babal and signed you, because he kept doing shit like that. Okay, Vidicic take the corner now. We need to find a finish. Oh, someone's gone up. I think it was part of and Lowry. Herd finds Vidicic again. Make it a decent one. Finds Herd to Melling. Played forward to Taggart. Can he find the finish? Oh, no. He's not having the greatest game, is he? He's coming off. Babal will come off. We'll move Vitasic to the left. And Edwards will come on as well. Assertively. Make the difference. Assertively. Make the difference. Two have responded well to that. Seven shots, two on target. They've still yet to have any shot to speak of. But I guarantee if they get one, they'll put it in the back of the fucking net. Uh, Zulo plays it forward to Babal. I don't know why he's coming into these wide areas. Heard with the ball now. He's lost it, but thankfully Pardew is there to tidy up. He's just so good at just tidying up when we when the ball breaks down in midfield. Mort got caught. Oh, sorry, Melling got caught a little bit high there, and Montano has the ball now. Finds Pepper. It's well won back by Chris Heard. He spreads it right. Edwards can't get there and it's hacked away. Well done, Jacob Melling. Played forward to Eli Babal. Needs to slow down and bring other people into play. Not do that. That's not your fucking game, Eli. Why would you? Why? Why would you do that? Last 10 minutes, Paolo Retro is going to come on for Chris Herds, who seems to be struggling with fitness. Assertively, please make the difference, Paolo. Please. Just someone. Just someone put the ball in the back of the fucking net. Edson Montano's gone off injured. 88th minute now. Zulo with the throw in. Finds Melling. Okay, come on. Oh, looks for Vitasic, but Caravella cuts it out. It's a ball forward. It's headed back by Larry. Bressi's going to get there first, isn't he? It's Andy Brennan. And he's... F oh, why? Why would they do it? Why would they let it happen? What is wrong with this game? 87 minute. They haven't had a shot. And Shane Lowry puts that there. Why wouldn't Vitasic come flying out? Why would he let him bring it back in, even up the angle for himself? I hate this game. I fucking hate this game. That's what it is. It's the fact that I fucking hate this game. One shot, one on target, 45% possession, and they are 1-0 up. I don't even fucking care if we score now because it's going to be another fucking draw. Retro with the crossfield switch to Babal who's got no chance of doing anything in these areas. Finally he goes back to Retro, tries to strike but can't do anything with it and he hooks that one well wide. What is going on in this game? Why can't we beat Newcastle Jets? They're fucking terrible. They probably have the worst squad to ever grace the A-League and I'm including New Zealand Knights who I don't think ever won a game in that. If they did, it was like one game. Oh my god. I hate this fucking game, man. I hate this fucking game. Really, like... Aggressive. Fuck all y'all. Can I type that in? And we've dropped down to fifth spot. Oh, we've stayed in fifth spot. Newcastle have gone second in the league. Have a fucking look at that. One shot, one on target. One goal. Oh. Oh. What do I do? What am I doing wrong? Why does this game hate me so much? I've done nothing but show it love and affection for the best part of a decade. Like, Sports Interactive have made so much fucking money off me over the years, and this is how they treat me. 10 shots, 2 on target, 55% possession at home, and we can't work any fucking goals out of those chances. Let's look at the table here. 6, 1, 12 drawn, 3 lost, still lost the fewest of any team in the league. 13 against, 19 for, goal difference of 6. Like, 
12 fucking drawers. Oh, God, what do I do? Tell me what to do. Put, put in the comment section what I need to be doing. Storm out. Fuck them. Franich reveals Game of Fury. Yes. Good. And fuck you, Phil Stubborn. So I just can't seem to beat Newcastle United. They have proven to be my bogey team. And our 12 games without a loss in a row comes to an end. It's only our third game of the season that we've lost. But it's just the draws. It's the draws that are the depressing part. And I don't really know what to fucking do because we're stuck with this side that we have until the end of the season. So... We looked better, better with Taggart out there. I'm making that. Like, Babal just sits on the bench now as an unused sub. He stays on the bench because it's not worked for us any time that we've brought him on. If anything, the team's gotten worse when he's come on. So, Taggart plays 90 minutes from here on out. Fuck Corey Gamero. He's probably never going to play A-League again. All right. What game are we going to come back for? I'm depressed. I'm, like, legitimately fucking depressed. I'm going to go eat an entire cake. Um, it is our 10th episode of the season, so... Let's celebrate and get fat. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play this Sydney game off camera because I need just to vent for a bit. I need to go out and just like do something else because clearly I'm not playing the game at all well today. Oh, God damn it. So we'll come back and we'll do Brisbane and Western Sydney and that'll probably be the, the second last episode of the regular season and then we'll come back and do Perth and Adelaide. Adelaide are currently sitting top, so that'll be a big one to finish off the season. We'll skip the Wellington games and the Sydney games. So that'll be the next two episodes, Brisbane Raw and Western Sydney Wanderers, Perth Glory and Adelaide United. If you have any feedback, chuck it in the comment section below. If there's stuff you think I need to change or do differently, then let me know. I like this tactic. I think it works really well. Maybe I need to set one of the one of the one these players to be an attacking advanced playmaker. Advanced playmaker attack. Maybe we set it to that. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, we'll try that. We'll see if that does anything for the next episode. As always, I've been Sean. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate your views. I'm sorry the series has been so fucking boring because I'm drawing all the games. Unless you love seeing me lose. Unless that's what you want to see. Then I'm sure you're enjoying it immensely. But I will see you again. Win, lose, or draw in the next episode. Thanks again for watching.